Okay, in this video tutorial, I will just uh, uh, talk about how to load an MGPK file and utilize it. Uh, first, you need to uh, check out the shelf tab and find these two icons. So um, this is a new icon I will use in future release of MGPK Studio. So for now, maybe you can just check out the icon like this. This is uh, the current icon I use for MGPK Studio. There gotta be two icons, and one is for loading the MGPK Studio in animator mode, and one is for designer mode. So uh, they are just basically um, two UI display modes for the same program. Okay, and they are not two programs; they are just the same programs. So if you end up in the designer mode, you just use the FA hotkey. Uh, by default, it will issue a warning. Uh, saying that in animator mode, it won't give you any warnings even the picker is unsaved. Um, just switch to the in animator mode. Um, first, we need to know how to open a picker, right? Uh, the basic way is you just double click this empty area. That will bring up the open picker file dialog, so you can just pick an mgpkr file to open it. Another way to do this is uh, go to the small features button and open pick up the uh, picker file and load it. Another way to do this is just browse the uh, folders and find the mgpkr file and left mouse button drag this file onto this program. You will load that picker file directly. Uh, this is another way to load a picker. Another way to load a picker file is through this uh, left mouse button clicking menus. So it will list out all the picker files uh, in current picker project folder. Also, it will list out all the uh, instance picker nodes. So you just pick up the uh, one item here to load the corresponding picker node or file. Okay. Um, and there's also a more convenient way to load a picker. Say you just grab this uh, part of rig, make sure your rig is referenced and has a namespace with this colon sign. Okay, um, so that way you grab one node and use this button to to search several paths and if the program find a match to this character, it will load that uh, picker file or picker node. Okay. It also will uh, set up the namespace to match the current namespace. Uh, that's pretty handy. To make your picker file be able to be searched and auto load into this picker program, there's many rules and you need to obey too. So uh, this is all about how you store these picker files. Okay. So I say I have downloaded um, picker files and stored it in this. Uh, Pickers folder. There's a Mary, uh, Mary folder that contains an MGPKR file. So the next thing you need to do is just go to the preference and uh, go to the picker searching directory. And um, I've already done that before, so I just delete this. Um, all you need to do, say you have downloaded the picker from website here, it's stored in G disk and pickers folder. And so you can just add and pick that folder add it and you can move it up so that this path will be searched first and once it is searched uh, through this path and find a match for this rig you will not continue to search on these other paths okay so we just close and for now we can just grab one part of a rig and use this button and you can access to the uh, search and load feature beside this button by go to the more button and find and load picker. Another way to do that is just grab the node and hold all key, double click this empty area. So this way it will do these features for you. And if you already open up any picker files, and you just all key and double click this area. This will uh, find and load picker file for you. Another way uh, to make it auto load is to uh, store the picker downloaded picker files into current picker project folder. So what does that mean? Uh, you need to uh, basically switch to the uh, designer mode and you go to the pickers browse browse current picker project directory, and it will open up the uh, current picker project folder. So uh, you can store your downloaded picker here, and you it will be searched and auto loaded. Okay. Um, 
basically, uh, if you don't switch to the designer mode, you just manually go to my document, Maya, and mgpgr data, and by default, it should be a default folder for the uh, default uh, picker project. If the rig you download already contains some uh, MG Picker node or other Picker node that is uh, readable by this MG Picker Studio program, then you can just go to the say I close this first and I go to the uh, load all in sync picker nodes and you will find the sign in sync picker node and load it. Okay, uh, so this is a uh, many way to load the picker. So uh, it will be convenient if you can use this auto search and load feature. So that way you can load up a picker really quick.